You know, we've all been there. You need to buy gifts for what seems to be an endless stream of very different people. If they own a pet, you're in luck. Pet parents are way easier to shop for than you thought. Animal Planet host and Puppy Bowl referee Dan Shackner is here with your pet gifting guide. Most people in America consider themselves to be pet friendly. In this time of year, many families welcome new pets into their lives. Dan Shackner from Animal Planet has an idea for where to find the next four-legged member of your family. Every year, six to eight million dogs and cats are turned into shelters uh, and rescue centers across this country. Not all of them get adopted. In fact, a lot of them sit there for a very long time. And um, it's the best way, if you're looking to bring a pet into your home, it's the best way to find a new pet. Uh, there's so many different breeds to choose from, uh, especially some of these older dogs that have been there a little bit longer. They're already used to a home. They're domesticated. They don't need to be housebroken. If you have someone you still need to get a holiday gift, Dan says if they have pets, you'll find some outstanding gift choices this year. Right off the top of my head, I know Petco has a great new line teamed up with the Star Wars movie that's coming out on the 18th. And um, that, I mean, that line is growing and growing. We've got your Yoda plush toys, which you can see right here in front of me. You've got uh, plush toys and tug toys that are themed after the, um, the different spacecraft on, this, on the series. And not to mention, you know, your amazing Star Wars apparel. <laughs> you can dress your dog in almost any costume uh, for any character in Star Wars, which is great. Dr. Seuss has a great new line of products as well. Uh, it's called the Dr. Seuss Pet Fans Collection. Uh, thing one and thing two, plush toys, uh, headgear for your dog or cat, so it looks like they're either the Grinch or Max when he was dressed up as the, the reindeer for how the Grinch stole Christmas. And of course, make sure your home is safe for your pets this season. First of all, you've got to know your dog or cat and know what they're like. If they're a particularly excitable breed, uh, if they're a curious dog or cat, you've got to make sure that when you're introducing all these new decorations to your home, that they um, that they're that they're put in safely, because uh, there's nothing worse than a tree <laughs> that's about to get damaged by an overly curious dog, especially with a lot of ornaments on it. For more information, check out petco.com/holiday. The preceding portion of daytime was sponsored by.